Hello Leo, it's time for your October reading for this current year, 2019. How are all my favorite little kitty cats doing? Missed you. Mwah. <laughs> Newcomers and regulars. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. If this resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. It might work, might not work. Just boop your nose, away it goes, and away we go, right? Also, if you want a personal read, newcomers, first ones on the house, all my information is in the description box below. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Now, my loves, let's see what's going on with you, Leo. A brand new world! You're getting new love. Look at you go. Ooh, I like that. Your situation, King of Pentacles. Might be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That provider, empowered energy. What you're wanting and wishing for, though, is for something not to die. But you are not happy. That's an obstacle and challenge you are dealing with. You want new love because you're not entirely satisfied anymore. What you fear and reject is not having a conflict. What? Okay, are, we, are you expecting something to be dramatic? Or are you afraid the conflict won't come to an end? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Queen of Swords as the beginning and the ending, what'll bring this shit full circle? Thinking logically and groundedly, deciding what should stay and what should be cut out. What's your beginning theme, Leo? Not taking a leap of faith, the fool or sacred clown reverse. You might not believe in yourself or you might be scared of taking those first steps, Leo. We don't really know. But you got love on your mind. But I think it's only because you're bored. But you don't want an argument either. You're afraid of it. In fact, you're hoping that there's no conflict because you're... But it's almost like you're scared of there not being conflict either. Now we got the King of Pentacles over here with someone not wanting something to die off. And then we got the Queen of Swords like making the deciding factor now this shit starts and how it'll end. Curiouser and curiouser, man. So let's see. With this Ace of Cups, Leo... You want to be victorious and share your victory with somebody. Um. What the fuck? And it's going to die just as soon as you get the victory? What the hell? Or did someone pass away over time? Like, I don't. That's really dark, Leo. What the fuck? Okay, I'll lay one more there, because I'm, like, slightly confused with what... Like, there's new love here. You'll be victorious with the person, but it leads to some sort of death. Like, Scorpio? Is it a Scorpio? Because it's a hell of a way of... Oh. Oh. Maybe you were victorious with this person, but then death came along and took your child, and now it feels like you you and maybe another person might be separating out. Or you guys were victorious, but something died between the two of you. And now it's like you can't see eye to eye. The situation with this King of Pentacles, right? Um, they're flying a bird to make fucking excuses. Trying to keep things going. But it's like, no one's really, it's like up here with the five of wands too, it's like no one's really listening to each other to keep the fighting from going. Or why there shouldn't be some sort of like, conflict. Leo, well, yeah, are, you, are you wanting actual conflict? Are you wanting something to, something exciting to happen like a conflict? Because, you know, Earth signs are pretty passive-aggressive. Like, we really don't try to start or argue or fight shit, but it's like... It's almost like you're wanting the spice of life right here. 
Death reverse. Something doesn't want to die, or at least you don't want something to die, right? You want to be able to move forward with this marriage. The door is still open. But it's like, you need to find someone to help you through it. Or teach you something. Or maybe you're not like... Maybe even though the door is open, you're still going with this marriage. Because like, you know, that's what you were taught to do. Obstacle and challenge down here. Not being happy. Like, this person doesn't give you a fucking break, or, you've, or you're or you not giving somebody a fucking break. Either or. And that's leaving you feel like you don't want to try to um, start something again, or they're the ones who are, like, killing the lizard before they get a chance of keeping it alive, right? Five of Wands reverse and the fears and rejections, Leo. You're afraid that there's not going to be a conflict. That the wheel's just gonna keep turning and now you just gained the monkey to help turn the wheel even faster. Towards a relationship breaking up. Like seriously, are you afraid that there's fighting that's not going to happen? Or are you afraid that there's fighting that's going to happen regardless of your wish? Like, do you want conflict or do you not? No, you want to look like the hero. I think you're afraid of leaving somebody behind, Leo. Like, they wouldn't be able to save themselves and you're kind of playing the hero. Or something. Queen of Swords, how she'll start things, how she'll end them, trying to pour out her cup, but not successful. There's a, there's a lot more in that cup than what the fuck she thought there was. Like, holy shit, how much love do I have? I'm not happy in this situation. Like, do I need to drag a kid into the fire? It's like someone would have a lot of regrets in the end. Um, they, like, they're having a hard time letting go or releasing the bird. Move up. There you go. They're having a hard time releasing the bird with ten prints. Being okay with leaving somebody alone. Their counterpart, possibly. Queen of Pentacles. Let's see, Leo. Once again, there are things that you just don't know. We have the Hierophant here, and they say he's got some shit that he is not sharing with people this time. Could definitely be a Taurus. Um, but this is like a hang-up. This is like acting like a martyr. Maybe you're trying to be that person who follows the same scripture, because this is before this one. This is the after deck. He just pulled the book out. Now you're sitting here trying to be the same person. But there are things you just don't know. You feel like you're hung up with an empress who's all bitter and shit. Right? Or has issues. Or something. Huh. Hmm. I don't know, Leo. But that's the read I got for you, man. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, you may like, share, subscribe. But that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. It's up to you. I'd greatly appreciate it, though. I wish you all a good night, and I will see you later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.